Woodpecker! I'm not telling you again! You're making too much noise! And here they come across center ice! Huh? Did you hear me? <laughs> hey! Put that back! Your judgeship, she's a nutcase. I tell you, it's him, Your Honor, with his peck pecking and... Order in my court! This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> Is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! Now, first, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> your cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know! A woodpecker getting flushed down the john! A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller! A dinosaur eating a woodpecker! But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Meanie. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Oh, Doc, she's attacking me! Meanie! Ah! Stop! <laughs> ah! Help me, Doc! What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> you had two doors. Who knew? I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. Huh. It'd take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Uh, uh, my two inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Uh -huh. Oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution: aversion therapy. These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Mini. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. <laughs> You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Served you right, Woodpecker! Oh. You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. Oh, what's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, Woodpecker, what's that funny-looking thing on your neck? 
Oh, it's your head! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 that it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. This is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pitching, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I don't fight! Mommy. <laughs> well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Meanie. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! Yep, I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. Well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of hairy? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. I know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yep, I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. This here's a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. 
I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. And stay out, you freeloading fish napper! Nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. <laughs> Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> Stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Ten. Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. I better employ my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny. Almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel! I plumb forgot to turn on the autopilot! Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My precious cargo! I lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of vodka. Whoa! Oh, let me help her. I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay, I trust 
offered. <laughs> Pack. Uh, Get off of me, you... <laughs> Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heek and duper poopers. No way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. <laughs> Hold it, Wally. It. I promise you don't want a whip of this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoopa Whatchamacallits. Hinkle <laughs> Oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any Hickapookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! I still have you, my pride and <coughs> shining joy. Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't. Wait a minute. These Heakin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Dad, uh, yeah, No! It is the only thing I got left. The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Uh. Oh. 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 Just add water. Okay. Drinking oh. water upside down. Okay, that should do it. Say, I'm from the Book of World's Records, and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hikapookters. That'd be him. Well, if they are truly record breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars! A million dollars? Why, sure! He's got the super duper hika pooper thingies! I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he. You get nothing, Woodpecker! I give you a world record hika pooper. Yeah, you bet! <laughs> Okay, guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait, yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Well, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. Ah, finally. Sleep. The Hika Pookters. Oh, no. Hika! 
don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> This life of leisure is wearing me down. What I need is a vacation. Hello, travel agency? I'd like to book a vacation, preferably somewhere warm. I've saved my whole life for this trip, so money is no object. You heard me, a nice long holiday. What a swell setup. Friend, you look like you could use a vacation. Who are you? Boink Buzzy, traveling vacation salesman. Glad to know ya, chum. Glad to know ya. Yes, sir. You have just won a free vacation to the Joyman Polynesian Islands. With a one-time processing fee of $5,000, you will be well on your way to the island vacation of your dreams. Hmm, German Polynesian, eh? Well, how come I never heard of them? Why, uh, that's because uh, it's an island and they don't have any phones. It, it keeps away the riffraff. How quaintly rustic. Well, I have to think about it. There'll be girls, sport. Aw, oh, go on with you. Not just any girls, chum. Hula frows. Hula frows? What's a hula frow? <laughs> Woo -hoo! There's just the business of the five grand. Then you're good to go. Hula frows, here I come. Okay, let's get this crate off the ground. Please, don't annoy the pilot there in take one. This I gotta see. Contact! Buzz to ground control. We are experiencing turbulence. Mayday! Mayday! Geronimo! Aloha, my liebling. Join us now for thrilling tropical high dive spear fishing in our exotic fish tank. For a hundred bucks more, those can be cooked up in a customized culinary concoction by our very own Chef F.E. New. Chef F.E. New? Yeah, if he knew you were coming, he'd have baked the cake. Hmm. Hey, you. Where's this so-called luau? What luau? This luau. The one with the hula frows. Right this way, my good fella. <laughs> Hula frows. <laughs> so long, sap. <laughs> nah, that's silly. <laughs> Surf's up, Wahini Schnitzel. <laughs> What's going on in there? Sorry, invitation only. Oh boy, the 
the song, the thrills, the hula frows. What a luau! And I owe it all to you, pal. This is the best vacation I've ever had in my life. Wait a minute. There ain't no luau. There ain't no vacation. And I'll prove it. But... Take it over this vacation. Oh, yeah? Well, I paid for it. There's your money back. Deal's off. Now get lost. I'll report you to the German Polynesian Travel Bureau. German Polynesian? <laughs> you go ahead and do that, chum. I made it all up. There ain't no such a thing. <laughs> German Polynesian Travel Bureau? I'd like to report someone. Yo! Yeah, some buzzard tried to sell me a scam vacation. Hula frows here, I come. Crowbar, Jack, the, the dynamite. What am I gonna get next? How about five to ten in the pokey? No! <laughs> Dr. Rachel, I... I can't hide it anymore. I think it's time I told you how I feel about you. Tune in next week to see the dramatic conclusion on Woodpeck ER. Wow! The medical field is so exciting. The action, the drama. Nurse Winnie to emergency? No. Dr. Winnie to brain sir? No, no. Chief of Staff Winnie to the OR? Stat! I'm gonna find out about a career in medicine today. Uh, but, boss, I'm so close. All I need is a proper subject to clone. Well, don't worry, boss. I'm on top of it. Yeah, I'm a dead man. If I don't find a subject to clone right away, I'm washed up. Finished! Where, oh, where will I find a volunteer? Huh? Hi! I want to work here. What are the odds? It's Winnie Woodpecker, and I'd like to become... That's fine, that's fine. If you'll just step into my lab, we'll run a few tests. <laughs> All right, listen up. This is a precise scientific instrument designed for only one purpose. Of course, <clears throat> I wouldn't expect a layman to understand. Why, no, sir. How could a layman be expected to know about a linear instrument designed to test the effect of the harmonic resonance on the rhombic area with an emphasis on the cordial nerve group? All right, then, let's get started. Huh? Hmm. Oh? Oh. Oh. oh, doctor! My first medical emergency! Oh. Test complete, Doc. Am I ready to work in the ER? Uh, let's move on to another test, shall we? This test will measure your brain activity and IQ. Please answer all my questions as quickly as possible. Ready? Ready! What is two plus two? Four. What's the definition of plethora? A lot. What is mitosis? The division of a cell nucleus. What is the, the Ptolemaic system? system. Of Ptolemy in which the Earth is at the center of the universe. How did you get that so fast? Is this giving you the answers? Give me that. Now, ask me a question. Go ahead, ask me. Mm, what does that lever do? This lever. <laughs> That is dangerous! Uh, Doctor, this will be perfect training if 
I decide to go into the physical therapy department. Just keep running. I have to find out if you're a good enough subject to clone. What did you say? I, 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 I said phone, phone. I have to test your hearing on the phone. Woodpeck ER. As I always say, when in doubt, improvise. <laughs> That's inflation for ya. Yes, another medical miracle performed by Winnie Woodpecker. <coughs> Ooh, when can I use these, Doctor? Just get behind the machine. All right, Winnie, this should be painless. Winnie! Oh, I knew I should have finished medical school. Huh? I'm ready for my close-up, Doctor. <gasps> I, 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 I exam. That's it. I exam. Please read the top line. You. No, you read it. I? <sighs> yes, you. Now go ahead. Why? Because I said, okay? Okay. Oh, never mind. Let's do a cat scan and see what's going on in that head of yours. Oh, no, doctor. I'm allergic to cats. There's no cat here. That's just what it's called. A cat scan. But I sneeze, swell up, and itch all over. Look, CAT stands for Computer Axial Tomography. There is no feline in this machine. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Doctor, now that you see I can handle any emergency situation that arises, what department will I be working in? Emergency room? PDR? Recovery? Operating theater? Whatever we do had better be in a hurry. After all, my time is valuable and uh... Nothing! Nowhere! I want you out of this hospital! Well, I'm not so sure I even want to work at a hospital that has the likes of you on the staff. Harsh words, but a doctor has to assert herself. I'm going all the way to the top, Doctor. That's not the elevator! Oh, I'll be blamed for everything. I gotta get out of here. Oh, no you don't, Doctor. You're not well enough to leave our care. Dr. Winnie Woodpecker, meet Nurse Winnie in the OR. Ah! Hello, Nurse Winnie. Who's your friend? He doesn't look well. Right this way, Daddy Boy. <laughs> in order to work in a hospital, you've got to have patience. season. Just me, the TV, and all the snacks I can eat. Yes, it's a great day for an exciting game of badminton. They got the bad part right. Hey, it's a fine day for the healing games. I love the healing games. Better stock up on some more munchies. Now, where are my haggis-flavored pork rinds? This concludes our free preview. If you want to see the Halo games, call your local cable service and pay up today. No! Me Halo game!
Congratulations, Mr. Walrus. You're an official cable subscriber. Yippee dippee. I uh, get a bonus for any referrals, Mr. Walrus. Maybe you could have some friends over to enjoy the Highland Games. Did you say Highland Games? <laughs> No Highland Games for me. Just the Swedish Channel, yeah. Hey, buddy, can you put your cable on sale for a true Scottish patriot? The Highland Games are the pride of me people. Wait, I've watched them since I was a wee scrapper of a twig pecker. No discounts on my watch, Red. You pay full price like everybody else. Only two hours till the games, and I can't afford full price. I need cable. Oh, yoy, the Swedish channel. Hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Walrus, but we forgot one crucial part of your cable, the black box. All righty then, Mr. W. We'll phone you from the cable office. You tell us when your parabolic receiver is giving you the best reception. Hello? Okay, Mr. W. I just need you to scan through the channels and stop on 47. Stop right there. And uh, could you turn up the volume? Now don't move for, say, oh, a week while we make some very technical adjustments. Just doing a service check, Mr. Walrus. How's your cable service going, huh? The cable's still not coming in. What? Just, uh, <laughs> sampling. Woodpecker! It's a federal offense to impersonate a man of the cable. <laughs> I'll be keeping a sharp eye on you, Red. That cable service is licensed to Mr. Walrus's TV and his TV only. Hmm. If the cable's wired to Wally's TV, that's just okie dokie with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Neighbors should share and share alike. Swedish channels cooking with meatballs, followed by the hit game show, Oh Boy, Who Wants a Green Card? <laughs> Today's recipe is entitled Cooking with Plutonium. We will make the average wiener dog into the uber wiener dog. First, we must boil the water, but not just any water. Use Swedish Fjord Wild Water. Available for a short time only to use Swedish channel viewers for only $30 a month. Call the number on your screen and order now. Now, pour two cups of Swedish Fjord Father into the pan and bring it to a bowl. Next, Ooh, look! The alphabet's in my super spelling out a message. Don't hit the good-looking woodpecker. Such flavorful yoy from such a small I've got to watch the games. Wait a minute. The cable is registered to Wally, so the cable can only be watched in Wally's house. Not a problem. <laughs> hmm. This is odd. <laughs> Today's simulcast will cover all sorts of events from the... This is yours. Forget cable. Satellite is the best reception on the planet. Three, two, one. And the best part is, it's free. Now I'll never get to watch the Highland Games. You're under arrest for violation of airspace, violation of international satellite treaties, violation of local and federal zoning laws, and for generally having an all-out bad idea. You can't arrest me. I can't, but he can. Oh, boy, we get the Highland Games. 
games. The only games in here are chess by mail and a little diversion the boys call, hey, what are you staring at? Now for my version of what are you staring at, the Highland Games. <laughs> Could you at least turn up the volume? <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Absolutely per- What? That's outrageous! Well, the Pamper Pooch Pavilion won't be getting my business at those prices! Now, who can I get to watch my new Pooch Woochie when I go downtown for a while? Yeah! Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Perfect. Miss Meanie, if this is about my late rent... I'll make a deal with you, Woodpecker. Watch my new dog for the afternoon. I'll forget that you're a week late on the rent. Dog, huh? Yeah, gee, I don't think so. Don't make me point out Article 64, Paragraph 11, Section 3 of your rental agreement. The Woodpecker will dog sit any time the landlady wants him to, or he will be kicked out on his tail feathers faster than he can say, ah, ah, ah. And whatever you do, don't feed my little Poofy. Oh, he has a condition. <laughs> He's not to eat anything between meals! What do we have here? Miss Minnie's new Poofoofy. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. So you come to visit your Uncle Wally, eh? <laughs> Wally, give me the dog. I'm watching him for Miss Meanie, and she said... Oh, a fine job you're doing, Budpecker. Wally, you gotta listen to me. Meanie will kick me out of my house if... Yeah, happy day, Woodpecker. <laughs> when Ms. Meanie sees how irresponsible you've been, she will kick you out for sure, you bet. Hmm, <laughs> bye-bye. Can the Poochie do a trick, too? <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's time for a woodpecker to do what a woodpecker's gotta do. You look like a proper Swedish doggy. Plump and warm for winter. Getting huge! 
No. Bombs of A, neighbor. Wow! This ought to do the trick. <laughs> hubba hubba. Hiya, sugar pants. What a cute little puppy friend, you betcha. <laughs> My little dumpling. Uh, with that, that, that woodpecker boss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kill you! Yeah! Ow! Ow! Let go! Let go! Oh. <laughs> After this message, we'll return to our really big movie. Everything you see. Oh, being an actor must be so exciting. Oh, thank you to all the little people who made this award possible. My only regret is I've never had a chance to work in a really big movie. Say, fans, how would you like a chance to work in a really big movie directed by Swedish action director Wally Walrus? <laughs> Extras are needed in Hollywood today. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Walrus. I'll shoot this movie exactly as it's outlined in my little storyboard. It just doesn't sing to me, Wally. It needs something fresh. <laughs> my opus. Hi, I'm Winnie Woodpecker, and I'm here for... Whoops. Sorry, Red, you just made the biggest splash I've ever seen in Hollywood. Ha, ha, ha! Say, wait a minute. You've got that fresh girl-next-door quality that's big, big, big now. Walrus, I want Winnie Woodpecker in this picture. Oh, can you believe it, Mr. Walrus? I'm gonna be in your movie. Oh, yeah. And I got just the job for you. In this scene, ya, yeah, the bridge was blown up, all kaplooey, by the bad guys. You're the helpless bystander. Um, Mr. Walrus, uh, why can't the helpless bystander, me, just free herself and not be so helpless, like so? <laughs> then I could pull the brake and save myself! <laughs> The break! The break! Take two. Now listen, you. Don't you do anything until you hear me say action. Got it. This is a rehearsal, ya. Yeah? You release the break on action. On action? Action. That wasn't the right action! <laughs> Stop that! 
trolley. Are you going to call action? Action! Like the Winnie Slavsky acting method says, when in doubt, improvise! Spectacular! The best! Wouldn't change it! Walrus, give Winnie a line in the next scene. Oh, my big break. Oh, thank you, sir. You got something, kid. Yeah, and it's going to kill me for sure. Mr. Walrus, it says the baker, that's me, screams when the bad guy comes into town. What exactly should I scream? Get down the street now! Get down the street now! Like that? No! You get down the street. You get down the street. No, 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 you... Oh. <laughs> Blow up everything you see in the vest. Scene seven. Action. Oh, what kind of movie heroine screams and runs away? Not Winnie of the West Woodpecker. That's for sure! This town ain't big enough for the both of us, mister! Woodpecker! What are you doing? I can't take any more! <laughs> Who knew the Wallace could act? most exciting action sequence since blow up everything you see in Manhattan. I want you in all my movies. Oh, thank you, Mr. Big. But, you know, I think what I really want to do is direct. <laughs> and Wally, such emotion, such frustration. You'll be my newest villain. The Walrus my viewers will love to hate. Blow up everything you see in the Arctic! Take one! Yoinky doinky. Nice work, everyone! That's a wrap! for the grand old game. Ha! Easy hole. I'll be sinking my putt in jig time. Computer, select me a driver. A wood for Woody. Just the ticket. <laughs> Nutwink, Rudy, I'm going to go visit my friend Gertrude on the 15th green. Now don't get into any mischief while I'm gone. We will, Tom. Good boys. Service! Come on. 
on. I know a fun game. You don't. Now give me back my golf balls. You want them? You got them. Yes. Mister? Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Wrong! I thought I told you two to stay out of trouble! Whoa, oh, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, we, 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 we thought you were somebody else. So sorry. Not quite, boys. Now you're going to get what's coming to you. Hmm. 
Looks like a 300-yard straight into a left hook dog around the sand trap. What club do you recommend? Ah, it's a wood for Woody. Now let's see you send that ball 300 yards. A hole in one! <laughs> <laughs> 